Hey guys, welcome to Coffee Time with Shama. We're at day number two, Consider the Lily, seven day devotion. Day number two. Growing up, I dreamt I could be anything I set my mind to and heart to be. From a superhero to a model, a rock star to a cowgirl, a police officer to a princess, an actress to a wife, and to a mom. In a moment, I could go from flying solo high to the sky to walking down the aisle toward my Prince Charming. Imagining fame and glory in the who's and the what's of this world, I always believed my possibilities were endless. But growing up, those dreams turned to a mirage as I got lost in a dry, empty, lonely world as vast as the Sahara Desert. As far as I could see, there were only rolling hills of sun-baked sand where nothing survived. Lost and tossed from one place to the next, I was still seeking those childhood fantasies, but in all the wrong places. I longed to grow in glory the way I had pretended as a young girl. I found myself withering away in the midst of thorns trapped and bruised by the brambles all around us. Look at the birds of the sky that they do not sow nor reap nor gather crops into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more important than they? And which of you, by worrying, can add a single day to his lifespan? And why are you worried about clothing? Notice how the lilies of the field grow? They do not labor, nor do they spin thread for cloth. Yet I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory clothed himself like one of these. Jesus in Matthew 6, 26-29 After many years of toil and spin, unable to grow on my own in elusive glory, I met the creator of the lily, the one who clothes the eye-catching, breathtaking, hardy flowers that flourish in the fields. But first, I had to know him personally as the master gardener. I had to give my life fully to Christ, I had to dig deep in his word, digesting the stories about ordinary people and able to do extraordinary things to bring him glory. I soon discovered the only way to grow in his glory is to grow in Christ, not in things of this world. Like the gardener, God looks for the best environment in rich soil with a balance of nutrients and proper water flow, digging deep offering ample space for the bulb to grow and thrive, blooming season after season over its entire lifetime. Like the lily, we must take root where we are planted so we can flourish. Whether we become a model, a rock star, a cowgirl, a police officer, princess, actress, wife and mom, or whatever life passion we choose wherever he plants us, to truly follow Christ is to grow in his glory. Roots. When you, you guys, came to Christ, what and or whom did God most use to help you get properly planted? Blooms. When you first came to Christ, what was the single biggest change you faced to begin your growth? The prayer. Master Gardener, thank you for the careful manner in which you planted me to grow in your glory. Thank you for the countless ways you have taken care of me. Help me to keep growing in you for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell so you can get notified when we drop our new videos. Also, please share, 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 comment below. If you have any prayer requests, please put them below. Um, we'll be more than happy to pray for you. Also, you can email us at rooftopministries22 at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. God bless. Bye.